reporting. All right, as we kick off the work week, we've got a gorgeous day today, and you say it's only going to mm -hmm. get warmer this week. Yes, it's only going to get warmer <laughs> this week. Well, we might take a little detour on Friday, but that's just from the upper 70s to lower 70s. I think that's so, doable, Carson. Yeah, it, it's doable. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out our weather headlines. So one thing's for certain, the sunshine, it is going to continue. 70s in the forecast for most of us. Some of you may see highs in the 80s. And of course, we are going to remain dry, so I don't have any rain in my forecast, at least over the next seven days. And that's well reflected in Longview. We're about to have a beautiful sunset there, but we've been seeing bluebird skies all day, and that is going to remain the case here over the next several days. Temperatures in the 60s now to our north. Sulphur Springs is at 64. Equipment typically warmer than some of the outlying locations, and that's true for today, is at 67. Mineola is at 63. 63 in Tyler, 62 in Troop, 63 at the East Texas Regional Airport. Nacogdoches is at 62. It's a degree warmer in Appleby. And as we look further to the south, I've got us in the middle to upper 60s, including Zavala, at 67 degrees. So here's satellite and radar. We'll zoom out just a little bit. We've got some clouds from a disturbance off to the north, some clouds near the El Paso. Paso vicinity, but our weather pattern is being influenced by this ridge of high pressure, so that does mean sinking air for us. And as a result, rain chances, they're very slim over the next several days because this is just going to be an ongoing theme for us, especially this week. But tonight we will fall to 44, clear, not as cold, and then high temperatures tomorrow back into the low to middle 70s. So we added about 10 degrees today. We'll add another 10 degrees to our high temperatures tomorrow. So if you like like the 70s, tomorrow is going to be the day for you, but I do expect stronger winds out of the south and southwest over the next few days. Precipitation outlook again, this is valid for the next 8 to 14 days. This is an outlook, not a forecast, but based on some of the longer range models, it does look like we will be fairly dry. Maybe some rain chances to the south, which is not highlighted in the color, but from Tyler Longview pointing off to the northwest, we could be below normal uh, based on the precipitation. We historically see between February 27th and March 4th. And then as we look at those temperatures, I'm going to keep mentioning temperatures in the 70s next week. We could creep past 80 again, but one thing's for certain, we will likely remain above normal for the time being. Next seven days, dry this week, highs in the 70s, no highs in the 60s, no lows in the 30s for the foreseeable future. In deep East Texas, we may very well crack 80 a couple of times over the next week or two. We've got 79 Wednesday, 80 degrees Thursday, but the common denominator along with those temperatures will be the fact that it will remain dry. Casey. All right.